I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I'm super into crafting. This is a disaster. The internet, they're just lying liars. It's perfect! Worst craft ever, maybe. <coughs> that kind of smelled like turd. Hey, welcome to Craft Busters. Hey! <laughs> In this segment, we try all those beautiful picture-perfect DIYs from the internet and see what it's like when real people try them. And the truth is, it doesn't always go as well when real people try them. This is not a hoax by any means. This real artists do this. Mm -hmm. They make DIY alcohol ink. We're gonna make the ink and a painting. Alcohol ink? Yeah! Woo! No? Okay, sorry. That, although no, that's okay. impressive that yeah, you could thank, open yeah, I'm not gonna drink this. Okay, here are the supplies you're going to need to make your own alcohol ink. A canvas, markers, alcohol, gloves, pliers, an X-Acto knife, some eyeshadow, mm. droppers, and some cups. Let's get started. Uh, put about a quarter cup of alcohol into the clear cups. So we're measuring this, is that what we're doing? I feel like we should measure. Shut, 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 shut. Next step, use the pliers to open the markers. My hand is. Is that it? Is that it? It just says take it out. Is that it? Yeah, okay. And then we cut it open, maybe? <laughs> Little bitty Did I dogs. cut it open like this? So we're doing this for all of these? Yeah, cool. and then I put it in here. Maybe some lighter colors. Come on! Did that have anything in it? Alcohol. That's it? All right. Well, now I'm covered in alcohol and blue ink. <laughs> I feel like no one's gonna notice this. I love crafts. This is exactly how easy they make it look on the now, internet. I think I remember hearing that alcohol was really good for a wooden table. We're gonna go for seven colors. Um, let's do... So, so this, we just put this whole thing of eyeshadow in there? Okay. Nice and shimmery. Shimmery diarrhea. Thanks, hon. We have our colors. Now we use the droppers, pour ink into the droppers. How's it going? Oh, hey, Lola, so it's going great. Um, it smells great. Right. Yeah, we had a spill and now it's on my oh, pants goodness. and also on my butt and my butt is on fire right now. Here we go. Okay, we've moved to our artistic um, shot so you won't see our faces, you'll just see... Like just like they do on our, Instagram. Are we This dries so quickly. This was outside in the sun for about five minutes. Mine, I was trying to dry in the sun and I dropped it in the grass. So this, these are, um, are we going with terrible? Like <laughs> I'm not gonna design a room around these. <laughs> Susie Silver, amazing artist of alcohol ink, is gonna come in and save the day. And we're back! This is my friend, Susie Silver. <laughs> She's a brilliant artist. Yes. So tell us your background. Yeah. Okay, well, I have been a high school art teacher for 16 years. Thank I you also, for that, by the way. Thank you. Yes, thank you, thank <laughs> you. I appreciate that. Uh, but I also am a working artist, so I'm a contemporary painter, and I love making things with mixed liquid media. So ink, acrylic, resin, anything that flows, I am good with. Um, Pen took this outside to dry, <laughs> and it got a little dirt on it. I dropped it on the ground. Oh, but that to it's me, mixed media. honestly, that was mixed the best. media. <laughs> what do you what do you think of mine? So we made our own ink. That is yes. not something you trouble yourself with. I one don't have the time, and two, uh, I like to have the variety of colors mm. and the intensity of the colors, which just makes it easier and faster to get a wide variety in the work. Colors were not intense. So the first thing, this is. Um, 
super official. Okay. Literally, we're just gonna drop it on the paper and watch what happens. One, two, and just let it kind of do its thing, and just you'll like start seeing. Yep, you'll start seeing the edges just turn a little there bit. Yep. Look at that. Whoa! Right, so this is just pure ink onto the paper. Oh my gosh, that's so cool! <laughs> yes. It comes out a little bit fast, but this is rubbing alcohol. It can be anywhere. Just kind of pour a little bit on, and it's gonna activate. Ooh. Ooh. And then you can it also, lightens it up. And then you can then oh, tilt your paper. Like a oh, like tail, okay. Okay. Yes. I don't know if I'm ready way. for that. I feel like it's. I'm gonna mess. Oh no, that actually looks really cool. Straw, honey. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. You ready? Oh, you blow. So where it was getting muddy before, now your colors have come back a little bit. This time, and this is really interesting to see. So I'm gonna put a little bit of alcohol down first instead of the ink, because once you put the ink inside of that puddle, which it's just sitting there, as I was saying, it yeah. doesn't soak in, it just sits there. Nothing's really gonna happen with your ink. It just goes. It drops differently. Even yeah. though it's the same two things, mm -hmm. they're just really different. You can do one color, two colors, it doesn't matter, within itself. And then this is really cool to move around or then go ahead back with your straw. Ooh. And kind of blow around a little bit and then that's where you're gonna get a little bit more softness. But this is a fine mist dollar store alcohol yeah. in here. Ooh. So that can create some texture. Ready? Yeah, that's it. Yep. <laughs> I'm making you stitch. <laughs> no, but my instinct. Because then it, too much, it just then, you know. My instinct, though, is to like do it more. Like if and once is good, 12 times is better. So here we go. So we're gonna, and then you can just, and you can just put them within itself and just see what happens in about five minutes. You know, they'll spread, they'll grow. You can add alcohol, you, you don't have to. Um, and in just a second, I would love to show you all the metallic soap. Yeah. That's, it looks yeah. like a Tide Pod. Mm -hmm. As you're enjoying that, yeah. just keep going and going and going. Yeah, in that, rings and rings, it, yeah, and rings, rings and rings. Yeah, rings and rings. So the metallics. We tried to make this with eyeshadow. Not a bad instinct, actually. <laughs> so you want you want to make sure you can see all that gold. And then yeah. this here, so this is that pearl in the cup. Take your dropper and you stir that up. And we do have silver. Yeah, I like silver. As we should, because that's my last name. That's your last name. Uh, but, the silver I like, it does turn really gray. Mine are kind of set, that's fine. I'm gonna reactivate. Okay, and then come on with... There you go. Whoa. That's what you're waiting for. <laughs> yes. And then watch this with the, with the pearl. And then you can add more color on top. So cool. Those will just keep growing and growing and then what they do is they kind of, the gold rises a little bit and it flakes out. So it almost looks like a gold leaf sometimes on it. That's fine. And you can use your finger to kind of draw with oh, it a little I? bit. Mm -hmm. We'll guide it. It will move, it will still move, mm -hmm. but um, it will help get that edge yeah. that you're looking for. Uh, no, I'm <laughs> making myself nervous. Are you feeling that you're liking it so far? Yeah, I mean, this I, is why you're nervous because you're afraid that you're gonna do. I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, so it gives that texture. It actually it makes it cohesive. You know, if, if you're worried about that edge, and if you wanted to loosen it at all, like over not near the piece, you would just put some alcohol on that and um, um, paint with it. Paint with it. Blue on the end of it. This color here is one of my favorites. It's called Cool Perry. It's that periwinkle. Kind of periwinkle one. Yeah. So here's what we've learned. Buy the ink, don't waste your time or money trying to make it. It's not as good and it's a total pain in the butt. Next, buy the good paper. We tried canvas in the beginning. It did not really work. Susie uses Yupo paper. Next, if you're gonna frame it, make sure to use a UV spray. That'll protect it from any sunlight. Finally, be patient, don't rush. Let the ink run, give yourself time. It's very soothing and Instagram-y activity. There's no wrong way to do it, except the way we did it in the beginning. That was terrible. So thank you <laughs> so much. Again, we are no longer making videos. We are just gonna be selling artwork from <laughs> now on. Um, this was, I, I don't know if I can compare. 
the progress we've made. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's hard to tell the difference of what was instructed by a professional, but thank you so much for coming. Oh, thank you for and having me. This where can fun. people find you? They can find me at on Instagram, my website, so at Suzy Silver Art uh, on Instagram and Facebook and SuzySilverArt.com for well, my website. So thank, thank you, you so much. And I even got some dirt from Penn's original painting on this <laughs> one. So I'm calling it mixed media. Earth. Mixed media. Yeah. Yes. yes. Thank you. Thank you.